everyone so uh, today I'm doing something slightly different is I'm actually talking about the gear I use uh, to go on my runs so um, I've been on this uh, journey over the last seven weeks um, to train for my very first full marathon that's 42 kilometers I'm 48 years old and decided in 2024 to get off the couch and actually do something with my life other than watching TV and so um, it's a build up that's got me to this point of now just two weeks away from running that marathon that I set out to run seven weeks ago uh, today specifically I just want to talk about so what actual gear do I use you know when um, deciding to take on anything new uh, or different stuff I'm often encountered with oh you've got to use this you've got to use that and uh, I'm a fairly simple person uh, not just mentally but also in the things I have uh, in terms of what to use you know I believe in just use what you've got like just use what you've got and then get going and then as you get into the groove you will find the things that you need that to help you be better at the thing that you're trying to do whether it's in your career your job your business or running or gardening you know you find the stuff that I think will will suit you that is best for you so these are the things that are absolutely critical to me um, that I used on every run but I use what I got so I thought I'd talk a little bit about each of the items that I'm using and why I use it and and just how it makes my run more comfortable now, some of them are probably not necessary for running like this for example but it does help when you have some of these equipment and you're trying to tell a story okay let's start off with probably uh, a very underrated item of clothing uh, and that is socks all right so now um you know but th th so these are also uh, old socks from many years ago and i only have this one because the other socks are actually in the wash uh but these are the socks that i i started my the the 5k uh you know uh, runs that I was doing just before I decided to run the marathon. This is the sloppy old dirty socks. They stretch. They're not very good. But this is what I used. I just used anything. Like I didn't try to get fancy with the socks. I recently did upgrade and buy um, these. These are Falk uh, socks. So they generally come in sort of a range of size. You'll see there that's a Falk sock. I have a uh, two pairs of this a longer um, a sock you don't want to go with the, the, the secret socks when you're running I find that they just slip down too often and then it bothers you during your run I mean there's nothing wrong with uh, the secret socks they look cool but uh, for they're not very functional when you're trying to do a long distance run and uh, you know you're building up from nothing and you just want to concentrate on your run you want to make your run as comfortable as possible and that's why having a good pair of socks I mean they they're pretty expensive as socks goes this one's about 139 Rand and like I said I got two of them um, and so so that's pretty expensive as as far as socks goes at least for me um, yeah but they are so worth it because they are comfortable they're good comfortable fit there's not a lot of friction with the sock itself with this sock plenty of friction I mean these are rubbish they plenty of friction with these socks and they just they, they they sort of slide into the shoe and they they lose focus also they're very old so but it's what i have you know i didn't go out buying new socks at run one i think it was only uh, i got the new socks two weeks ago just because i was starting to get very uncomfortable lots of pain i had secret socks they were just they bothering me too much in my run and i'm trying to remove anything that takes away my focus from running and the excuses of oh that's why I didn't do the distance because you know running so socks is probably for me the number two item that's like important for, for your run journey all right so socks are important um, a running top running vest that's comfortable so these this is from runs I did in the past uh, funny enough this is my uh when i did the nice oyster festival in 2011 so uh which which is exactly the run uh that i'm going back for i'm going to do the nice forest marathon 
but this time I'm doing the full marathon. This was the half marathon, 21 kilometers. And so this time I'm actually going back and I'm doing the full marathon. But, but I've, got a, I've got a few of these left um, that are comfortable. These are, are great for running with because they don't give you a lot of friction. Uh, the seams are all hidden seams. So, uh, you know, in, in the, the, the tops themselves, the seams are all hidden. So I find with a lot of like normal t-shirts, um, the seams can get scratchy after a while. And so we're not talking about if you're running 5Ks, just wear anything or sometimes even 10Ks. But if you're running further than that, what I found is that anything that sticks out a little bit, you know, that creates friction, especially over a long period of time, whether it's running your pants, your shorts, your t-shirts, uh, that friction can really irritate you. And I've seen some people with some terrible results, uh, lots of chafing, uh, uh, some even uh, instances of bleeding. And so that's why a, a, a decent running top uh, is useful. I don't like the vest, the strappy vest type stuff. It's just not my style. I'm more conservative, I cover myself up. Um, so a t-shirts like these, if you enter races, uh, generally they have an, an option for you to buy in to some of the merchandise. I love buying in t-shirts in the Niza Forest Mountain. I've also bought a new t-shirt, updated t-shirt that I'll proudly wear um, after the marathon, after I've successfully completed because uh, I don't quite know if I'm actually going to finish. <sighs> Such a lot of pressure there. But yeah, cool. A running top is essential. Now, let's talk about this little jar here. And this is Vaseline. So petroleum jelly, something for your groin area, your thighs, your inner thighs. You wanna have something uh, with you. I often forget this, I actually almost always forget this. I do apply it before I run, but I forget to take it with me um, during my runs. Um, and But this is gonna help you with that friction. Again, uh, your thighs rubbing against each other, you know, just all the time, it just uh, it gets uncomfortable, especially in the later kilometers in the distance of your run. Uh, it comes quite a bother and that's where good shorts also helps you if you've got a proper running shorts you know that shorts can can help with the friction this is a new shorts this i got at total sports a uh, very reasonably priced when you get a running shorts don't just get any shorts so i get i look for for two things for running shorts number one is a pocket a zipped pocket at the back of your shorts uh, not the front the one at the back I don't care if it has side pockets or not. This one does. I actually find this to be irritating. So when you're running, you know, if I've got the shorts on and I'm running and I'm tired as things are moving around, my my hand has often gotten caught in the shorts by accident. And so I find these pockets actually a little bit frustrating. The back pocket is awesome because the back pocket does, you can put your keys in here. Like if you go, if you're going, you know, uh, to a destination, you're going to run in a destination. Like I did the Carl Kloof, um, uh, the trail run a, a week ago, you know, um, so I'm there with the car. Obviously, I put the car keys in my pocket or if I go down to the uh, promenade, if I drive down, I do a shorter run there, put the car keys in your pocket and you can zip it up and it's nice and safe. So that is number one that I look for is this back pocket. Uh, number two that I look for, these are both uh, non-negotiable, is the inner. So I don't wear underwear with my running shorts. I actually look for this inner. The reason that I look for this is because generally, again, normal um, underwear, the seams, the, the stitching, so I don't know really what you call it, the stitching inside uh, can, 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 can sort of irritate you, can, can fray or... or you know and create irritation against your skin especially like i say normal walking and stuff is fine but longer distance these things can get really irritating these particular shorts um the label at the back had to be cut my wife was uh, she's got uh, great scissors and they had to be cut just a little bit off the side because i found that the edging of this label uh was a bit uh, too rough and just immediately just walking around with it, I was like, wow, this is going to irritate me uh, so much when I get to the 15, 20 kilometer mark. And so, uh, so we just cut this back a bit. But other than that, these shorts are great. They, especially if when they've got, they're not too long, so they don't sit too low on my thigh. And then that becomes a problem. 
and they're not too high. So I don't, don't want to win any, uh, you know, sexy butt competitions. So they they just have a very good length, and then obviously for the chafing, um, they help prevent or slow down that chafing. Chafing is going to happen, but they help prevent it because um, you know of the the flaps in between in between here. Yeah, they they sort of uh, prevent your thighs from rubbing together and then because of this material this beautiful almost silky like material nice and lightweight um, slows down that that friction that you would normally get uh, if you're wearing a, a runner shorts which i think is too short um, but these are running shorts so the runners are, um, are far shorter and these are running shorts so these are great these are these are great for me and the reason also that I like this material is that if it gets wet, which you know in the warmer seasons when you're running, I would often just dose myself down with water uh, to keep cool and it will dry quite quickly. It's also another good reason for uh, tops like this. Uh, they dry very quickly so they don't, they don't soak in too much. And so that's uh, also quite useful. That's for the shorts. Keeping on the thing of um, clothing, this jacket, uh, so uh, in the warmer seasons, you don't need a jacket, you know, I just straight up go out and I run. But in the early mornings uh, now, it's winter, and especially going into the forest marathon, I uh, use this on a few runs now, almost all my runs, uh, because I started like, you know, I'm about half past four, or five, five thirty. It's dark, it's cold. Um, and when I start my runs, I start off wearing a jacket. This is nice, lightweight. Um, I was very happy to have this jacket with me uh, when I ran up Table Mountain. That was, oh, it was so cold, so windy, and so this jacket came in handy. Uh, and so you can take it on uh, and off uh, fairly easy. This also has some pockets. I generally try not to put things uh, that I'm going to need in a jacket pocket uh, because I know that I'm going to take it off. I know that I'm going to get out. This is one at the back. See, so this is the doesn't have a hood which is great because I find the woody to be annoying. Uh, so it's got a bit of reflection um, for, you know, when you're running at night or early morning, it's dark. Got a pocket at the back and it's got two pockets on the side, which are all zipped so they can zip close, which you definitely want. This is stinky. These are going to the wash. Wow. Okay, cool. So those, those are the things that I wear. I sometimes use like a powder, baby powder for my feet to also just help with the uh, friction. Um, and then the other thing is that um, I use is because I'm doing long runs, these are all training runs, there's no water stops, there's no one to support you. Uh, I use a backpack, I take a backpack with me. Now, this is just a regular old uh, laptop backpack. It's nothing special in here. Um, I don't use this as a, a laptop backpack anymore and wow this needs a wash as well um, so nothing special here it's too big it sits heavy, uh, not heavy on my back but it sort of covers my whole back and also makes me a lot hotter than I need to be but I'm using what I've got right so I can there's camel packs which I've recently looked at uh, but the reason I didn't get a camel pack was number one I don't know how long I'm going to be running these kinds of distances um, and how often I'm going to be doing it. So I don't know what comes after the 22nd of June. I really don't. Um, and so, and, I, and, and when I first looked at camel packs, which is what all the runners use, you can see me here at Kalkloof, where almost everyone has a, a camel pack and I'm here with my big ass, just normal laptop backpack. Um, and I just when I'm domestically I'm running I just I have a towel in here just to help with weight and 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 comfort and I sometimes use it when I take a break uh, you know I have a snack whatever I have my towel be able to sort of wipe myself down a bit um, I put my water in here so I'll, I have either one water bottle sometimes recently I'm taking two water bottles with me I realize I'm drinking way too little water and so I just use a normal sort of empty cool drink bottle you know, uh, Energade or, or just normal water bottle, empty plastic bottle. Uh, I use that. And so those go in my backpack um, that I refill at wherever I can find water, or freshwater taps. So this is on my backpack uh, or on my back 
as I'm running. It just has the water, banana, uh, my phone, other little things, anything that I want to carry with me. I don't carry too much with me. I'll use this backpack. It's use, use what you got. Yeah. So, and then shoes. <laughs> uh, this is number one. Um, trying to think. So socks is definitely super important. Uh, obviously your shorts and stuff like that, but you can get by with any shorts. Uh, you'll soon uh, then later realize you need to get a better, better shorts. They just make things more comfortable, but essential um, for me is socks and then shoes. So I recently got uh, this uh, Reebok shoe um, and I'd use another brand before this and I just, I thought I'd, I'd try something different. I was getting a lot of pain. I still get a lot of pain. I get to, uh, you know, the 25 kilometers, sometimes at, at 29 kilometers. Um, and I'm starting to get a lot of pain, uh, muscle pain, achy muscle pain. Um, and I've gotten new shoes. It was happening at 21 kilometers. And then I got new shoes and that pain uh, is now only coming in much later. So like I said, at the 25, 29 kilometer mark. So it's giving me a quite a few extra kilometers um, just having this new pair of shoes. These are great. These are actually really great. I'm very surprised at the level of comfort. So these soles, these are very thick soles. A lot of the shoes that I've looked at also have these uh, thick uh, type soles almost gives you like a lift like a bit of a heel almost like I'm wearing high heels but I mean it's very cool um, but the, the flexibility in the run is is really good so it's giving me a more rounded foot and uh, not a flat foot so these shoes uh, these Reebok shoes were actually um, really really good I was quite surprised at how well and how comfortable it is the, the hug on your foot with the shoe just you know when I talk about friction that's the number one thing that bothers me on a run is stuff sort of irritating you it's rubbing up against you doesn't need to especially like I spoke about secret socks why well, I won't wear I try I won't wear secret socks for long distance running is because of that friction that happens here at the back um, whereas this shoe uh, with the right socks you know the shoe doesn't there's no friction in the shoe it's a comfortable fit, so it doesn't feel tight. But it's just when you have it on and you're on a run, you don't feel like there's any movement in the shoe. So you feel pretty solid eating the ground. And, and you know, um, as you're, as like I'm experiencing pain in the later distances, uh, when you get there, your, your confidence in your step uh, uh, decreases, or at least it is for me. And just having the right kind of foot gear to be able to support me so that I can just run with a little bit more confidence and feel like I'm not going to fall over uh, because <laughs> my body's giving in. Uh, it just really helps. So, so investing in the right footwear is really important. And, and, and like I say, socks and shoes, everything else is negotiable. Um, I put the shorts there pretty high on, on the list. So your essential gear, your shorts, uh, your t-shirt, uh, your socks, and then your shoes, super important. The other things make things a lot more comfortable for you, like your Vaseline, don't forget that. All right, and then how I film uh, my runs is number one, I use my phone. Uh, doesn't matter what phone you have. Uh, this is a iPhone 13. Uh, I, I just use it because that's what I have. I'm, I mean, obviously filming on this camera, um, it will be too heavy to take on a long distance run. I've run with my, my older camera, which is this one here. This is the M10. I actually did, I took this with me on, on the, the car cloth um, trail run. I had this with me and I got some nice photos along the way, but um, yeah, it's hard running uh, and stopping to use another camera and take photos quality on this on these cameras are far better than the, the quality in the phone i've just i just it's not comparable i don't see how people compare uh, those together but i just use my phone um i use the wide angle camera lens uh, to you know kind of like this and um to support me to hold the phone while i'm running i have a selfie stick yep so most of the time i just have it in this mode um, but I also I have this accessory which uh, you know just screws in 
to the bottom like this and then I, I can put it up and I can have a stand and, and so uh, where's the other attachment that goes on here for the phone itself clips on and then I've got it like that and then yeah and so um, yeah so this is pretty useful it's got this little a ball head uh, not a ball head but a um, twist a uh, little top here that I can sort of angle and then you know and I've got the phone on it's just easier I don't know where the clip is that goes on top it's just a clip that clips on the phone and screws into this top section uh, that just helps it sort of when I'm running I can keep it a long distance um, and then you can also just sort of open this up you know and then you've got a, a normal selfie kind of selfie stick I, I chose this one in particular because of the stand i needed some a selfie stick it had a stand and also i wanted uh, this more durable so this doesn't i mean it's a, a decent height is about a meter um probably just over a meter uh, fully extended as a stand and then i got this off take a lot this was decent i paid about 500 rand for the selfie stick i thought that was really uh expensive for as selfie sticks go but i've had another one that was um that sort of got it at the china mall and that was like under 100 bucks and that broke almost instantly uh just because i'm running i sometimes I pack it in my bag because i want to run freehand i don't always keep it with me i mean i, I do often just sometimes I just run with it sometimes I don't record myself at all so this stand is how I'm filming everything um, I, I considered getting a, a action camera like a, a DJI or um, GoPro but then I'd have to spend money and I don't know if it's really going to work for me uh, you know and it's thousands of rands whereas the phone work and I'm actually really really impressed with it the built-in image stabilization that this phone has. Now I'm sure other phones, Android people might prefer that brands and those phones might have a great image stabilization as well. I just have this phone and so I'm using it. So the whole point of this is use what you've got to start anything. Because it, it doesn't, these are just things I have. I, this bag, I just, I have this bag. I had old shorts, they were broken, like really tattered and broken. I used that and my wife was giving me grief about it so I had to go buy new shorts and also didn't want to show up for the Neisner Forest Marathon in broken shorts because bro uh, I only had two pairs of shorts the one was a really tattered and the other one was like okay but the, they both now are, are super broken and so getting new shorts was essential I haven't had equipment I, I'd shown enough commitment to myself to know that okay you are doing this I have since rethought about getting an action camera and I just I just don't I don't know enough about it it's not just the camera it's the workflow it's getting the the, the data the video from the device onto my laptop so I can edit the videos and I don't know what that looks like and it just looks like there might be some hidden subscription in the DJI or the GoPro versions of that and you must use the propriety software to get that fisheye effect away and get it flat I just I don't have the time to research all of that so I'm just using what I got my phone works for me I also have on my phone I have an app uh, used to be called Runtastic let me just record what I'm doing here cool so um, the app that I'm using and need to put my specs on for this where are they used to be called Runtastic but now it's uh, called Running and it looks like it's from Adidas Adidas might have bought Runtastic at some point so this just helps me keep track of the run I'm on so I use the free version uh, generally um, in things I'm doing I'm trying to set up I have no problem paying for things but I use the free version uh, for this app in particular so this will will record all my activity my running activity it allows you to sort of pause if you maybe need a loo or whatever it is uh, you can pause your run i used to do that but don't do that so much anymore so it'll just sort of you can see here uh, this is my activity since april uh, the 13th actually starting to record my my run distances there's one or two walks in here the 3.4 kilometers probably a walk uh 5.2 anything on a friday would probably be a walk um, 
so it just keeps track of all the runs so you'll see in april i ran 90 kilometers uh, and in may i've so far run 152 kilometers uh, with 10 activities so it just helps sort of track things and you'll see uh, you can go into your run sort of shows you give you average pace i'm generally not interested in those things i do know that i have to keep a 7.8 um pace to meet the cutoff for nice and forest but that's another story and then it just gives you sort of average speed so this was my run on sunday i did um 30 33 kilometers what was, how much did i do here 33.3 kilometers uh, if i go into the detail you can see i was running at a decent pace for most of it the downhills sort of look you can see on the map the downhills will be the sort of the parts where well the slower ones because I walk down your uh, rather than run most of the time because I don't want to I don't want my knees to go again uh, especially like here you can see this down your uh, 759 uh, eight kilometers kind of know where that was and then these main ones here you'll see the pace is generally slower on the downhills and then the flats again sort of speeding up uh, this is taking a break 17 kilometers I took a break I went to the toilet I was at the beach probably uh, at that point and then yeah just so the end the last <laughs> loss of the three kilometers there very slow the last one 25 minutes I just could not uh, walk uh, anymore uh, you'll see that um, yeah I just I was I was finished uh, this run I did on Sunday uh, breaking the 30 kilometer barrier that to me was most important getting over 30 kilometers so now that i've done it i'm psyched for my next my next run so this is the app i use to track my uh, running as well as i use the phone to record they both work at the same time i just sort of start the app and i say cool you know i'm busy with an activity and it just starts and then i can use anything else it doesn't sort of interrupt each other you can play music i've, I've had some music playing with some other runs i generally don't Play any music let me get one other thing uh, I also have a light so this one I got at uh, game it's nice a headlamp I don't put this on my head uh, I mean I've got nothing wrong, uh, opposed to people who do but I don't put this on my head this is a rechargeable light so it doesn't have a battery it's a bit more expensive than the battery ones but I felt that the rechargeable light is better this has a longer um, battery life the battery actually hasn't run out yet I have recharged this once uh, just to be safe I mean I use this in running up Table Mountain the second time uh, the first time I had my normal uh, I had a, cam a camera light that I use uh, to help me but the second time I actually bought this so I needed something and this is rechargeable it's got a seven hour battery life which I've never used completely I've used it on multiple runs with just a single charge what I actually do is I put this and so I use it like that and then it's got two um, light functions so the one is this is a red light if you can see that and then if I push it again it will flash the red and if I push it again it's got a green light so I will use this and if I'm running at night you know uh, or early morning that will give uh, um, other runners uh, the, the ability or other pedestrian road users the ability to see oh there's a light up ahead um, and the green light sort of just helps me see if there's any debris or any uh, things in the road uh, if the street lights aren't working um, so that's that and then this full light mode this is so bright it's actually really bright um, that's the there's normal light mode and then you push it again it goes down to just one of the lamps is on and you push it again then both of them are on but um, much dimmer which is still lots of light so this is actually a really good buy i was really happy with this i didn't i was very skeptical when i bought it i was like oh headlamps because i bought these things for my kids and they're generally useless they just break off to like a week um but so this this light is actually proven uh of very useful bag especially those early morning runs and i take it with me with every run i go on now comes along with me sometimes i use it and most times i do now um, but then obviously when i'm done with it i put it in the <laughs> the backpack uh, not camel pack the normal just normal backpack 
So, um, so yeah, so these are, these are the things that I'm using in my run is basically use what you've got, you know, get going, get on the road and, um, and have a good time and then figure out what works for you. The one thing I will say in the big is in your beginning. So the one thing that I will say is when you get started with anything in the beginning, things are always going to be uncomfortable. That doesn't mean you solve it by getting a thing of something like a new phone or a new backpack. Definitely not in the beginning. Maybe in the beginning, just don't run with a backpack. Maybe run shorter distance, you know, carry the water bottle with you. Because uh, that's the thing that you need is the hydration. You need a water bottle. That's the main thing that I need. Because I'm doing this much longer runs, I actually, I take uh, some food with me. You know, it's, sometimes I'm out for four hours. Like even some of these runs have been four hours, some of them a little bit longer because slower. Uh, so I'm out for four hours and I'm, I get hungry. I've never experienced it before when I was doing 21 kilometers. But on these runs, I do. So I take, I've even had like a lunch box with me once of the peanut butter sandwich. Um, and again, just I take one of the kids' things, I man. It's just use what I have. Um, the shorts, good shoes, like you need a good shoe. And, um, yeah, and my phone from a technology perspective. So those are those things that I use on the run. The other things that I want to talk about a little bit is nutrition. So I'm not good at this. I'm still figuring it out. Uh, but I get a l I'm getting a lot of body pain in the longer or sort of the 30K mark, 29K mark. A lot of muscle pain, aching, and I still don't have a solution. But uh, people have recommended slow mag. So other runners that I speak to, they have been recommending taking slow mag daily, uh, which I have been. I need to take this today, actually. So this is uh, effervescent, it's meant to replace zinc and other stuff. I'm not sure, but that's one of the things that I'm using is slow mag. And then another friend recommended this. Uh, this is BCCA, it's a amino grow. It's amino grow. And um, what this is uh, doing for me is this is, is actually helping with uh, the muscle sense. There's also uh, so uh, reducing the, the the pain that I'm getting so it's not as bad as it was before I and mean, before it was uh, like really bad uh, for a long time and I just kind of would run through until I just couldn't take it anymore but this is helping so I've recently started using this I don't have any sort of uh, full results uh, for you but like a, a supplement find something if you are experiencing pain like not if you just went for one run I mean I've been I mean, there's over 200 kilometers that I've run in training for this marathon and I've got a few weeks left and I've only just started taking this. I've only been on two runs using this, 18 kilometers and then again, this 33 kilometers. So those two runs that I've used this. So not conclusive, but I'm trying to use something to help me just reduce that pain because I still, I mean, I'm going to run 42 kilometers. I have to run a long way. And it's more also about the post run recovery, like, you know, I was taking the whole day to recover uh, and so I, I can't do that when I did car um, I, I was about two hours away from home and I, I needed to drive back <laughs> after that because I need to get home so I can't just sit there and, and recover the whole day I needed to be able to move I didn't have this uh, when I did that run uh, but I have to I had to figure out how to get um, how to speed up my recovery so I'm working on that as well all right, so those are things that I'm using in my in my run. Uh, it's the main thing is just to get started, whatever you're trying to do. Uh, I hope that some of the things that I've shown you here today is gives you ideas for your runs. If you have any questions, you maybe wanna maybe there's something that you're using as a supplement that you're finding is working for you for that muscle pain. Maybe you have a remedy. I do use a uh, um, sort of you know deep heat and um, Voltaren those kind of things on on my my pre run. Uh, I'm, I need something sort of during the run. I think I'm gonna get the spray that I'm gonna try out next. Um, so during the run because I don't want to have anything on my hands if I'm sweating. You know you wiping your face all the time. It's um, that. Uh, 
You know, and you've got, let's say you've got Voltaire and deep heat on your hands and you wipe your eyes. Ugh, just imagine what that can do. Or you wipe your brow, your forehead, and uh, the sweat sort of drops that, um, that ointment uh, into your eyes. That's not going to be comfortable. So this is what I've got. This is what I'm using. Uh, I've got two weeks left. There's so much uh, going through my mind um, about this, this run. Uh, there's just so much to prepare for. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking trying to do this, but man, uh, what's come out of it has is, is really been exciting. And the opportunity uh, to do this and to continue to document the story. And thank you to everyone who's been following this journey along. Uh, for everyone who leaves a comment uh, of motivation, uh, it really helps. Thank you so much. Um, and who send me messages. I appreciate every message, I appreciate every comment and I appreciate every minute that you spend watching my videos because some of them can be long and they, I'm not, I'm trying to get better. So hope this helps, maybe you'll start your run journey too and uh, hey, let's go for a run.